Hey Tunnel Beauties, it's Mary here and I am live from the Too Faced offices with the founder of Too Faced, Jared Blendino. Hey! Uh, very fabulous. And I'm really excited today because um, you're going to get to see their summer collection in action and we're going to show you a really amazing bridal look that you can also wear to any summer foray. Just kind of fresh face yes. and fun, perfect for summer. Yes. Um, so tell me about the collection to start. I was really inspired for the collection. Really, it was based on our best-selling natural eye collection. And women just love to look perfectly polished and pretty, but not overly done for certain occasions, especially a wedding. And you guys know brides, you want to look like the best version of yourself. You don't, you don't want to look like somebody else, but just the very best version of yourself. So the natural love palette was just perfect for that idea. So I really jumped in, created a collection of 30 eyeshadows, you guys, in the most buttery, opaque textures that would allow you as a bride or any wedding guest to look perfectly polished, super natural, and just real pretty, you know, for those r romantic occasions. It's, it's the more romantic side of life, you know? Right. You don't want to show up looking too goth to a no. summer wedding. And especially like in the heat or if it's outside. And then we want to perfectly light up your face with our Love Light uh, Luminizers. And they're a beautiful formula. They actually start off as a cream and they are, um, it takes days to create each one. They're crafted by hand and they give a beautiful luminous effect but not so disco ball strobe where you, you look like you're like you're a, like in a club. Right. So they're perfect for a bride, great for any party situation, especially a wedding. And you'll just look polished, pretty, romantic, and ever so slightly sexy. Yeah, that's what every girl dreams of. That's what it's about. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see these in action. Or anything else we should know about that collection? before? We it's just, you know, it? have a lot of fun. There's so many shades in there from, of course, your toasty neutrals to some fun puffs of color. And it's very modern. <clears throat> Excuse me, you want to pop a little color Especially on the cheeks, maybe on the ball of the lid. My pro global artist, Glow Pro uh, Elise, is going to come in and show you how to craft the perfect summertime bridal look. But she's going to show you how to play with color, balance it with some neutrals, and just have a great time. Great. I can't wait to see it. Thanks so All much. All right. Thanks, Mary. Bye, guys. Mwah, have some fun. All right, Elise, girl, get in here. I'm take, coming. take over. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming across the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm so excited to show you some of my favorite tips. So first off, we're gonna start with priming. The priming is one of the most important things that you can do as a bride because you need to set that foundation to have flawless skin. And I always say, when you're doing your moisturizer, put on your moisturizer and then wait 10 minutes. If you wait 10 minutes, let it really absorb. It's gonna keep your foundation from sliding too much. But then just knowing what kind of skin that you have, you have to know, do I have oily skin? Do I have dry skin? And if sometimes brides have combination skin right. and that's okay too. Or in diff yeah, different areas might have different problems. Exactly. Sometimes I have to use more than one primer um, than once, uh, than one, than more than one primer at once on a bride because it can be one of those areas where, you know, you really do want to glow maybe on your cheekbones, but you don't want to glow through your T-zone. So I'm going to start, we've actually already prepped Mary's skin with Born This Way foundation, but that's also one of my tips. Normally, when I'm doing bridal makeup, I really just want to do the eyes first. That way, if we get any fallout, it's not going to ruin your makeup, right? You're not going to have to like redo because one of those things that you, that you don't uh, think about a lot until the day of is timing. Ugh. And you don't have a lot of time. No. And for some and you're reason, stressed out anyway. you're so stressed out. And then your mother-in-law comes in and you're like, oh, <laughs> God. So you just, you can't foresee what's gonna happen. Um, so make sure you do a bridal trial. If you're lucky enough to have a makeup artist, make sure you do a bridal trial. And if you don't have a makeup artist, make sure you do a trial on yourself. That is like a huge yeah, like practice. stress reliever, mm -hmm. right? Just like picking your colors, knowing what colors look good for you. But that's why I'm so excited. Sorry, this is gonna be a little loud. Can we bury this a little bit? That's why I'm so excited about this natural love palette. It is truly like the perfect palette for a bride. It has all of the natural light colors, but then you have those medium tones that you can really smoke up the crease with. And if, if you want, you can actually create liners out of stiletto and make up a chill. But so let's just get started. Yeah. Let's start with your eyes. Perfect. We're going to prep first with eye primer. Our shadow insurance is, I feel like the best on the market. It is one of those products that you can use for so many different things. You don't just prep your eye with it, you can actually mix it with eyeshadow to form mm. your own custom liner, which is... That's awesome. Isn't Great that tip. Sometimes if I'm in like really humid climates, I'll actually put it under my eyebrows too, close your eyes, before I put my eyebrows on, just because I don't want them slipping around. 
summer. And in summer, it's just like everything is slipping anyway. So exactly. whatever you can do. Oh my gosh, it's so true. Now, did you do your own bridal makeup? Did I did. You? I'm super, super picky, and I wish I could like release this, like the self control. I like my day probably would have been a lot less stressful. Actually, I eloped, so it wasn't very stressful. Oh. But uh, I, I definitely did my own makeup because I'm a control freak, and I just needed to you know, be in charge of my own destiny. Yeah. I did my own makeup too. Oh, you which did? Like, yeah, good oh and bad. Oh my gosh. It was like, when did you get married? Um, 2015. Oh my gosh, so not that long ago. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with this color Heaven. It's just a really light base color. And what it's gonna do is you're just gonna add a little bit of light and lift to the brow. And when you use a base color, just apply it until, I always say if it's flat pat, so pat on the color, and slide back and forth until you don't get any tension. So if you feel a little tug, just add a little more. This is gonna make it a lot easier to apply all of the other shadows. So you can't really see it too much, but it is gonna make your life a lot easier. So now I'm gonna go in with this color called Nudie, and it's a really soft, neutral uh, matte shade that's nice uh, to kind of add some definition. Look down for me, mm -hmm. chin up. So just to add some definition to the crease. You don't want to do too much. One of my major tricks for bridal makeup is I don't ever use black unless I like really have to. There's so many other colors that you can deepen up your eyeshadow with and, and your eyes with besides black. Black is so harsh though and, and the way it photographs too can sometimes come off harsh. And that's one of those things you don't want to, you don't want to look back. You want your makeup to be classic and timeless you want to be able to show your grandchildren not be embarrassed right <laughs> you don't have like a cut crease and you're like well it was really in style at the time so just these are all things to think about you just it's it's okay to have a smoky eye I mean you can do whatever you want it's your day but just think about in the future how you're gonna feel about it it's just a really good idea right and I think the one thing and, and Jared mentioned this too is like for brides like you want to look like yourself too yes. so it's important that your makeup isn't just something completely out of left field. Right? Like Can you imagine? Photograph. You're walking down the aisle and your fiance doesn't <laughs> like, even Whoa. recognize you. He's like, who did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. I'm sure it happens though. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to sweep back and forth. It should just be a really subtle definition of the socket. And if you get any fallout, it doesn't matter because we're going to clean that up and do concealer afterwards. So just softening. Then I'm gonna add this color. It's called, I like the color Cutie Patootie. It's kind of like a pinky champagne, like a, almost like a rosé, if you will. It's very pretty. Isn't it pretty? And we're gonna add that just on the top of your, your eye right here, just with a flat brush. You can even use your finger. Sometimes I like to use my finger as well. So I'm just gonna press this in, close your eye. And it's just gonna give you a subtle, shimmer it's okay to have a little shimmer you don't you definitely don't want to go glittery that can kind of be harsh in photographs but just a subtle shimmer is going to just really open your eyes up especially if you put it right in the center so pretty and then there's another color in this palette called uh poodle <laughs> it's so funny and i love to use that to brighten up the outside or the inside corner of the eye it's so so pretty look at me so pretty one of the main things though that I like to do is I like to make sure, I always tell my brides, make sure you tight line your eyeliner, your upper lash line. Tight lining means you fill in in between the lashes, make sure you're using something waterproof and make sure you're not getting it in the waterline. If you get it in the waterline, then when you blink, it's gonna get down here. So it's one of those things you definitely wanna practice before doing it the day of or have a professional do it for you. But in pictures, it just makes your whole eye look looks so flawless and beautiful. So that's definitely one of my go-to tips. That's a great one, and it's a great way to kind of fake fuller lashes. Yes. And now I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take one of my favorite little trip. I'm gonna actually set sure. this on you. Perfect, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this deeper color, makeup and chill, just a little bit, not too much. Like Netflix. And and these names are pretty fantastic. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little sponge and I'm just gonna use it on the corner of your eye. Look down. And I'm gonna hold it right here just so that I can get kind of a cleaner angle. And I'm just gonna deepen just the outside. You really want to focus on where the uh, 
the outside corner of the lid and the outside lashes are connected. So you don't want any negative space left in there. It's got to be all darkened up. That's one of my pet peeves is when you can see a little bit of pink in the lash line. Look mm -hmm. at me. Pretty soft and defined, just not too, too crazy. I don't know if you can like zoom in a little bit. How far away are the, do you think people can see? Can you guys see? <laughs> people of the interweb? <laughs> Let me turn you this way. So I'm just going to close your eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit on this side. But the key really is in the lashes. That's why waterproofing your lashes, thank God we now have better than sex waterproof, which is such a game changer for brides. But you don't wanna to go too, too dark, but you also need to go dark enough that it's gonna show up in pictures, because that's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. You have to be a little bit more you have to be a candidate. You right do, there. you have to be a little bit more aggressive. It's one of those things that, um, if you think you look really light in, in person, you're gonna show up like you're wearing nothing on camera. So now I'm just gonna tight line you just a little bit. Okay. So I just need you to look down into your lap, perfect. If you squeeze your toes, it kind of gives your brain a place to go, which is nice, perfect. And I'm just going to press up, oh my gosh, your lashes are so long. Thanks. Right in between, doesn't have to be perfect, look down this way. And we're just basically connecting the dots in between those lashes, look directly ahead. And you can see how it really just defines the eye so much. And it's really nice for people who really like feel like they can't do a perfect line. You don't have to get it perfect every time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Katie's like going in and out and she, I'm probably not even on camera. Okay. So look down. So I'm just going to push it in between the lashes. Your lashes are so, so pretty. You are hashtag blessed in the lash department. Oh, thank you to my mother. <laughs> Shout out to mama. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to just lay our sketch marker flat. This is, is waterproof as well. Oh, so you great. don't have to worry. You can cry. You can do all the things that brides do. Um, but happy I'm just, tears. Exactly. Such happy tears. Hopefully. Exactly. Not. I've actually been to a couple of those weddings oh, too. <laughs> Look down this way. And we're just going to use the side of the of the tip and we're going to press it flat and we're going to do dashes in the lashes and this is just going to really define the the top of the eye and the lashes but it doesn't look really heavy it's not one of those thick you don't need a, a big heavy line to define your eye you just need it to look cohesive it needs to be uh, from the underneath and on top like a little sandwich okay so look down this way perfect and i'm just going to press it flat it's so much easier you let the the wand do all of the work for you. Just takes a few seconds. And just make sure you're connected. Make sure there's no little negative spaces in there. And then before I do a little mascara, I'm going to define your eyebrows. And we have this amazing product on Too Faced.com. It's our chocolate brownie. It comes in four colors. But what makes it so great is it has an angled tip where you can either do a full uh, application or you can brush up and do like little hairline strokes which is really nice and we're gonna do let's do the color soft brown on you soft brown. So soft. I imagine so brows been like having a moment for a while yes I imagine, uh, like with the other makeup for a wedding or something like that you want to not go over the top and are yeah. there ways to kind of make sure you keep your brows looking natural and yes subtle. I find that if you define from beneath it really gives you a nice lift to your brow okay. so I, I want when I see people going on really heavy on top it actually can weigh it down a little bit let me show you my brow trick I like to do it I keep it really easy so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to define from beneath by doing a soft line where your natural brow is and just giving you some definition and then I'm going to brush it down so I can, see, I can see right where the gaps are. You can see there's a little gap right here. You actually have really nice eyebrows, but I'm going to just fill in where the gap is. And then we can brush it back and make sure it looks soft and natural. And then from there, I'm going to do little hairline strokes up from our, just our little guideline. It's so pretty. And then let's just brush it nice and soft and natural. The softer, the better. Uh, the, I see a lot of people doing really squared off brows right here, which can look mm -hmm. really harsh on camera. So usually your brows need to be a little bit lighter in this area, and then they can get a little bit darker. That's how you keep it natural, is to have it lighter in the beginning of the brow. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just give you 
my head off. Gonna do your little guideline. Let's brush it down, see where the gaps are. But I just love, and by the way, this pencil smells like chocolate. Does it? I mean, why shouldn't it? Why shouldn't yeah. your brows smell like chocolate? <laughs> Make your groom even more excited, I right? imagine. <laughs> be like, honey, mm -hmm. smell my brows. I got something special for you. <laughs> he may not be able to appreciate your smell perfume, but he will appreciate your chocolate smelling brows. Eyebrows, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, I guess it's really hard to do to, to get that cocoa because it's real cocoa powder. So, mm. but we did it. We have like magical people in our product development who do these things. Little elves, I imagine. Exactly. Okay, so now we're going to curl the lashes. Just do a quick bump. So look down for okay. me. Perfect. I'm just going to give you a quick curl. You don't even have to hold that very long. No, not at all. Now, let's just go in. Sometimes when I have a brand new mascara, I'll go in and I feel like it'll be too wet the first time I'm going to apply it. So I just take a tissue and I just wipe off the first time. And then after that, that's my little trick. I just feel like it really works. That's good, because it's easier then if you need to build than to like, yes. if you overdo it to yes. remove it. Exactly. So I always apply lashes on the bottom first. That way, when you go to apply, like if you already had your mascara on the top and you go to put it on the bottom, you get it up here every single time. I, you just changed my life. <laughs> Because that is the story of every morning for me. Yeah. Like, oh. I have so many clients that are like, at least I've been doing that for 20 years and I've been going, I've gone through like hundreds of dollars worth of Q-tips. So look up for me. So I'm just going to press at the top. And this is of course waterproof. You can bleed whenever you need to. Challenge you not to. You don't have to. It, when you're on the bottom, you can blink as much as you want. It's not going to affect it. So that's really nice. And you have really pretty like blue green eyes. Usually people with blue and green eyes are a little bit more sensitive. And that's why mm -hmm. waterproof can be great for you because it's not gonna run. That is true. Yeah, I always have to have sunglasses outside. Oh yeah. I do too. I have like really sensey. The struggle is real. The struggle is so real. Yeah. And waterproof mascara is definitely a must for a wedding. Oh it needs to. Even if you're a guest, because there are some pretty tender moments in oh, weddings. Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. I cry. I could be, like, a professional crier. I could go to weddings and just, like, cry at people who I don't even know. People should hire you. <laughs> they, actually, they do. <laughs> so while I'm letting your mascara dry, let's just talk about foundation a little bit. So I want to make sure when you're applying your foundation, the one thing I always say is make sure that you apply foundation to your ears. I know that sounds really weird, but a lot of times when you cry, your ears get red, and then you, you have your photographer take a picture of your face, and you have these like bright red ears, or your nose isn't concealed, so make sure that you conceal around your nose really well, and make sure you apply foundation and a little bit of powder to your ears. Uh, that's a game changer for that pictures. That really is, wow. Yeah. I'm learning so much. But I could go back in time to yes. my wedding. Oh, you hired <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> now you got people in high places. Okay, look down. I'm sure you have people. And I'm just going to press from the root. I almost like touch down at the root, and that gives a little tight line effect as well. And then if you wiggle back and forth, it really is going to volumize your lashes. Holy moly, your lashes are amazing. Thank you. And I like to go on the outside first, and I go out, and it creates that fan effect. And then in the middle, look down, I wiggle back and forth, and I go straight up, just keep looking down, perfect. And that really gives you that open eye look, and look down this way, and then on the inside, I go in. Oh my gosh, this is one coat on you, is insane. You see? So, so pretty. Look straight ahead. And then what you can do also is look down, I can just tip the ends, and it'll build even more length. Do you love our mascara? I do. I actually have been wearing the Better Than Sex. Ooh, oh, because you haven't tried waterproof yet. No, I haven't. Oh, amazing. Yeah, this is a game changer. So look down. I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle at the base. You're a really good model. You're not blinky at all. Well, I'm a long-time contact lens wearer. Oh, I love contact lens wearers. Yeah. They're the best. Flinch. This is easy. Yeah. Can you see? Beautiful. Let's just get in a little bit more. So 
So a lot of times, my brides will want a softer look for the ceremony and then they'll want to jazz it up a little bit for the reception, which is fun. So I didn't do any eyeshadow on the bottom of your eye, but let's just say, okay, now we want to do the reception. Now we're just going to like smoke it up. We're ready to have fun. Let's go in and do a little bit of defining underneath your eye. We'll just use our liner brush and a little more makeup and chill and we can take a little these little sponges are a game changer too. So actually, let's wait for you. You're probably still a little bit wet. Look straight ahead. Okay. Perfect. And I'm just going to give you a look up. A little bit of smoking on the outside, and then we'll clean it up a little bit. And just even defining just a little bit on the lower lash line is really going to make your eyes look bigger and pop in pictures. And another thing you can do is you can use uh, our shadow insurance and mix it. If you are a crier and you know that you're going to be crying all night, because I'm one of those girls, you can actually mix your shadow and with shadow insurance and put it on the bottom and it becomes waterproof. Oh, so that's, that's amazing. That's another really good trick. So look up for me. So let's dust away any excess that we have. And now we're gonna give you a little bit of our Born This Way concealer, which is my favorite concealer. It covers everything, but doesn't dry you out, which is amazing. I'm gonna mix two colors. We're gonna do something called up lighting, which I find is really pretty for pictures. So I'm gonna go with something a little bit more natural under your eye, and then on your cheekbone, I'm gonna use a shade just a little bit lighter just to catch that natural light. Great. So look up for me. Perfect. Concealing is so important for looking fresh, especially if you had a late night the night before. People still do mm -hmm. their bachelorette parties and stuff. Like the night before, I'm like, are you crazy? Yeah, that is wild. You got all the people in one place. Yes, exactly. If you have people from far away. And then we'll go back in and we'll do a little highlight in the inner corner once we're done concealing. Wow, that's so pretty on you. And, and, and this is, I imagine, also good for when you're getting your picture taken, just like yes. brightening up the whole yes. face. It makes it look like you just had 150 years of sleep. Mm -hmm. You are fresh as they come. But really taking that concealer all the way up the temple is really going to give your, your eye lift as well. So now I'm going to take a little bit lighter color and I'm just going to put the lighter color right in here. I'm just going to press that in and that is what we call up lighting. And it's a fun little trick just to give you even more lift. And say that you have texture in through here, maybe you have some fine lines and you don't want to use a regular highlighter because you feel like it's going to make them look mm -hmm. like even more defined. This is a great way of like giving you lift without having to make your skin more shiny. So let's give you a little more on the other side. I love the difference between here and here. I, want, I wish I had a mirror for you to hold. Oh yeah. So Next it's, time. it's always fun for a big reveal. Right? Okay, so make sure you press it into the inner corner of the eye. That's where we always get the most purple when we're tired. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that can just like draw all your attention too, right? Oh you know? yeah. Truly. Okay. So now let's give you a little bit of up lighting. Keep it Lift. high on that cheekbone. Lift it. So pretty. And then I'm going to touch up. I'm just going to touch up your foundation just a little bit. I know we did some a little bit earlier, but let's just give you a little bit more. You never have too much. Well, I mean, I guess you can. But. You can, but not of this formula. This formula is so light. Jared actually created this foundation to look like skin. So it really gives you, the, the, the best part is that it feels weightless and you can get like really nice coverage, but you never feel like you're wearing that heavy mask, which is one of those things where I can't stand it. I used to wear a really heavy foundation and by mm -hmm. three o'clock, I always felt like I wanted to rip my skin off. Yeah, it's always, you know, it's hard. Sometimes those products can be hard to come by where if you want the coverage, but you don't want of the heavy feeling. Yes. 
this truly gives you that that like just like flawless looking skin and always take it down the jawline we don't ever want to have that embarrassing little foundation line that sometimes that you can see on people ears jawline ears and okay. jawline so let's hit the let's hit the ears <laughs> just a little bit right here and make sure you conceal around your nose your nose is nice and concealed we did it so now I'm going to set setting is so important if you want your foundation to last you're gonna need to set so today I have primed and poreless setting powder what I love about this is it you can use it for a couple different things so if you're in a humid climate, try using this underneath your foundation. I know it sounds crazy yeah. to use a powder <laughs> foundation under a wet liquid foundation or a powder uh, primer under a liquid foundation, but it really works so beautifully, especially if, you have, if you're someone who has oily skin and you have a lot of texture. You know how when you put a regular primer on, sometimes it feels greasy and you're like, oh my God, I feel so greasy right now. I hate the way that feels, especially if you have acne. This is one of those things that takes away texture but doesn't add any weight. It really is a miracle product. But you can also set your makeup with it. So you can put it underneath and you can put it on top. One of my tips is I always say make sure that you do not set or bake with an HD powder or a mineral makeup. Those things are going to give you flashbacks. So when you're picking out your wedding day foundation, make sure you're not using something with SPF, which is why Born This Way is amazing. It has no SPF in it. And also, never, ever, ever set with HD powder or mineral makeup because what's going to happen is you're going to take a picture, the flash is going to make this look lighter than this. And that's really embarrassing. And you, you want your pictures to be beautiful forever. So um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to press and roll this product just to really press it into the skin. And pressing and rolling makes it so you don't mess up your foundation underneath. You're not moving around your foundation. You're just setting it. I'm so sorry. I totally have to blow my nose. Okay. <laughs> my allergies are like going crazy. Yeah. It's all that rain. Oh, totally. <laughs> my poor little nose. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to press this in. Finish pressing, especially in the areas that you would get shiny. So right in through the T-zone, just make sure you really get in there. Look up. This is also beautiful underneath the eyes. You don't want anything moving around. And then if you're a bride and you are crying, make sure that you, when you have your tissue, that you dab, that you don't sweep. Because if you start wiping, you're gonna start messing everything up. Yeah, which is a real bummer. Is this something you'd want to keep in your like bridal clutch? Or yes, clutch the that's a great idea. Ups? Yes, absolutely. Is there anything else you'd want to keep on hand? Oh, you want to have your lip? You want to have maybe a spare eyeliner. I always say some lash glue just in case your lash starts to pop. And then, but then you need a savvy friend who can put it back on for you. That's what bridesmaids are for. Exactly. <laughs> you have to have one that's trained in the arts. <laughs> so, um, and then, I, did I say blush? So blush, mascara, little liner, and your lip. But um, a good powder to touch up with is really important too. Something that's not going to add a lot of weight. Um, but you know what, your, your grandmas, your aunts are going to come up, they're going to kiss you on the cheek, you, you're going to need something to clean that up with. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define, this is our chocolate bronzer. It is. It does smell like chocolate. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> it tastes like chocolate too. I, did, I never licked it, but sometimes you can actually taste it when you're putting it on. It just tastes sweet. Uh, what I love about this, it's so neutral, it's so beautiful on all skin tones, but it really will give you that definition without being shiny. So if you're someone who's scared of contouring, this is kind of like your gateway to contour because it really defines your features, especially in pictures. Camera adds 10 pounds, ladies. So sometimes it's a really good idea to go underneath the jawline, make sure that everything's looking tight and right. And that is what we're going to do right now. So I'm just going to, yeah, right here. But this is where I need it. You're perfect. Um, but I'm going to go around the forehead. So the sun, where the sun would naturally hit you, you're just going to add a little definition. Think about it like a butterfly wing, if you must. Um, but I like to start at the top of the ear. I'm going to turn you this way just sure. a little bit. Start at the top of the ear. Don't start, if you suck in your mouth and you do it here, it's going to be a little bit too low. I like to keep those cheekbones nice and lifted. So I'm going to start at the top of the cheekbone and go into the hairline. Make sure that you're pushing it into the hairline so you don't have lighter you know, scalp and then you know, tan looking skin. That's not a good look for a bride. Um, but this, keep it really tight on those cheekbones and then really tight. Make sure you go up around the ear. You don't just do right here. 
Everything has to be connected and flawless. And if you want, you can take it down both sides of the neck. And it just adds beautiful definition and lift. Let's give you a little bit on this side. You have a petite forehead, so you don't want to do too much. You know, you really want to look at your own skin and, and your own bone structure and and look at what you want to do. If you have, I feel like I have a large forehead, so I always like to make it look smaller. But she has petite, so you don't need to do too much. We're just going to add a little bit of definition. And then let's start at the top of the ear. Beautiful. Just brings out your natural bone structure. So it just is bringing out what God already gave you, right? And give you a little bit down here and down the neck. I always do a little bit on the end of the nose because think about the bronzer brings in and light brings out. Oh, so in funny. pictures, you want to pull everything in, right? I nice. always do. That long gonzo nose. Exactly. <laughs> Lighting pictures. Exactly. So now I'm going to use, I, I, I pulled in our Sweet Peach Glow Kit because I love this color in the middle, this blushing color. It's so beautiful for um, a bride. And I like to take our Mr. Right brush. This is a little fun trick that we do. We push up our little, little bow, bow tie. tie. And then we're gonna use that center color. Probably should have cleaned that off first, it's all good. And we're gonna start high on the cheekbone and we're gonna brush it down in an X and sweep it back in an O. So think about X's and O's. Oh. It's the perfect way. You really wanna keep that blush high on your cheek. It's gonna give you, everything is lifted. We wanna keep it all high and beautiful. So sweep it down on the high point and then end on the cheekbone and or on the apple and brush it back in an O. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous on you. Yeah. And then of course, it won't be a bridal look unless we have some amazing highlighter. Yeah, can you talk about highlighter? Yes. The highlighter is huge right now. Yes. But we're starting to see a move from those holographic disco ball highlighters, especially for something like a yeah. wedding, to things that are more natural. So how are you gonna, how, how do you balance the two between like something that's like gonna pop, but not like, you can't see your own space. Right, well that's why I love our Love Lights highlighters because that's what they do for you. They are really buildable and the pearl technology allows you to get a beautiful, like natural looking glow, but it's not gonna be one of those things that where you take a picture and it just photographs white. <laughs> so that, that doesn't look natural. We want you to look like you're, you just are, have glowing, healthy, like just had a facial skin. And one of my favorite tricks is to use two highlighters. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take this color as our Ray of Light. And it's so beautiful. By the way, you guys, I wish I would have had these for my wedding because just the photo op alone on these gorgeous highlights, like I would want to, this is what I would touch up with. If, if I was a bride, this is what I would carry in my compact and or carry in my purse and pull out this beautiful heart compact because it's like, this is the glow of being in yeah, love. Yeah, it's very cute. So I'm just gonna use my finger for this actually. And I'm gonna go on the highest point of your cheekbone. And I'm just gonna use kind of like circular movements and it makes it really easy to blend. It's a really soft glow, but then we're gonna go in with our lighter shade and what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna put a spotlight on the top part of your cheekbone and that's what I'm gonna do with the lighter color. So I'm just gonna take that lighter color and just on the highest point, I'm just gonna hit it right here and it just makes it so natural and beautiful. And I also like to take this down the nose and the cupid's bow Let's just use a little bit. When I'm going down the nose, I like to do an exclamation. So just a little bit right here, and then a tiny bit, like the exclamation point, right on the end of the nose. It's so, so pretty, and it just makes it look dewy, but not too overdone. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on the Cupid's bow right here, just anywhere that you want to catch the light and add a little bit of lift. So let's give you a little highlighter over on this side. Do you usually use your fingers to apply highlighter? I like to. I feel like yeah. it really makes it um, soft and blended and diffused. You can use a brush, but I feel like you have a lot of control with your fingers. And this way, you can place it exactly where you want it. And because we already put powder over her skin, it's easy. It glides on easy. It's not going to get stuck anywhere. So that's that's why I do that. I like to have control. Yeah. In all things. In all. It's true. <laughs> Just ask my <laughs> husband. <laughs> Just a little right here, maybe a little bit up top if you wanted to. Just sweep, just 
just really soft though. And then I wanna highlight the inner corner of your eye. We didn't do that, I talked about it, but I didn't do it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Poodle. Poodle. Poodle's such a fun, it's like a frosty, but there's like almost like a little bit yeah. of There's a little to shimmer it. to okay. it, which is really pretty in the inside corner of the eye. It's just gonna open your eyes up. Look up for me. I'm just gonna press it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, I know. Right here. It can be your last finishing step on the eyes. And then let's talk about lips. Yes. Now lips is one of those things. You want something that's gonna last. Thank God mm -hmm. we now have our melted mattes that stay on all day. They're kiss proof. They have an amazing ingredient in them called Volulip, which actually pushes back against the shrinkage that you can feel. Like, you know, you get that tight feeling with liquid yeah. lipsticks yeah, and you're just like, I have crinkles. to talk like this now. Yes. <laughs> so if you're a bride, this is the perfect time to try one of our melted mattes. We have so many beautiful colors. I personally like to mix a few colors together. I'm always the person that wants like my own custom color. Uh, as a bride, you just want something that's gonna show up. A lot of people like to go nude. I am, am and I'm a makeup artist, that I think a little bit of color on the lips just really makes you look beautiful and fresh. So I think today we're gonna, we're gonna let's mix a little custom color for you. Pop a color. Yeah. I also like that, because like we were saying in photographs, you know, exactly. you want something, you want it to, to show up. Yeah, you need something. So I'm gonna mix, this is one of our new colors, it's called Suck It. Hey. I just like saying that. <laughs> and very bridal. <laughs> exactly. And I'm gonna mix it with Sellout, which is a beautiful, like warm, nude, neutral color. So I'm just gonna mix the two together. And what I love is that when you kiss your fiance, your betrothed for the first time, that he's not gonna reach across and have to wipe off his lips. <laughs> So after that, maybe you want pictures, you want something shimmery, you want a gloss, you can always throw a little gloss over it. But I, I just feel like it's so nice not to have to think about that. Right. Just to like have your first moment and your first kiss be like really something that you don't worry about or think about too much. Okay. So I'm just going to brush this on. Really light. You can, if you like a lighter look too, you can also uh, use your fingers and kind of dab it in almost as a stain, which is also a really fun way. And then if you want a little bit of uh, moisture over it, you can use a little chapstick or we make an amazing um, plumping lip gloss that's amazing. It's our Lip Injection Extreme. I, I like to use that first on brides. Give you a plump, then wipe it off, almost use it as a mask. It gives you a little plump before you uh, put your lipstick on. It's beautiful. Push lips together. Perfect. I really like this color on you. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to set it. We have a new product, it's our Hangover 3-in-1 Spray. It's beautiful, you can use it to prime, you can use it to set, you can use it to refresh, but I love to just put it over the skin at the end because in our studies, 100% of people who put this on said their makeup didn't transfer. So of course, oh. this is a big deal for brides because mm -hmm. you don't want your makeup getting all over your guests. So I'm just going to do this, I'm gonna shake it up, and you're gonna just really softly close your eyes, not too tight, and then we're just going to spray and an X and also this just makes everything sink into your skin and and look like skin and not makeup so yeah oh, look, you were very bridal renew my vows I think so <laughs> yeah at least go on a date night tonight yeah well we'll see about that uh, but I imagine well even though I don't have a mirror I imagine this is also <laughs> a great like we were talking about for summer weddings even if you're not the bride and you're a guest um, you know this might upstage the bride I don't know but it, it's it's still, you know, natural and you know, fresh faced and just pretty and romantic. We should do we should do an unveil on camera. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, the rain in the mirror. <laughs> yes. It's there a little dusty, but Oh I love it. It's so pretty. Your skin looks amazing. Yes. And it's look at that highlight pop in. Before. That's great. That's a really good highlight. I hope you guys can see it there. I mean, it's just very dewy. Love the eyes, just very subtle. You have some great lip color. Thank Thanks. you. So exciting. 
Oh, well, thank you so much, Elise. Do you have any final words of wisdom for people out there? Uh, final words of wisdom are just make sure you do a trial with your makeup artist. Make sure you do a trial by yourself if you don't have a makeup artist. Don't be stressed out on your dab. Have a plan. Get everything mapped out. Make sure you waterproof. Make sure you set. And um, yeah, just enjoy it. You don't want to be stressed out. Like your makeup mm -hmm. should be the cherry on top. Like you want your pictures to be beautiful forever. So think about the future. Think about how you want to show, you know, your family in the future and just enjoy your day. Yeah. And yeah. if you practice your makeup, one thing, I know I got married outside. Yes. So make sure you look at when you're practicing like in daylight. Oh, yes. You're getting married outside. Yes. It's very clutch. It's clutch. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so thank much you for having me. Fantastic. Um, Total Beauties, until next time, I'm Mary, Celise, we're at Toothpaste, and we'll see you soon. Bye.